Hi and welcome to another gaming video and in today's video I want to talk about the refresh for the Microsoft Xbox uh, current gens so I'm not talking about next gen consoles there are rumors that Microsoft are already working on the next gen and it's going to be called the Xbox Series X2 but we know nothing about that pure rumors pure speculation uh, I'm talking about uh, the current consoles and a mid mid-gen refresh now it's nothing uncommon uh, you get that a lot uh, you've had it with the ps2 or actually go back to the playstation 1 it was refreshed to the ps1 ps2 ps2 slim ps3 ps3 slim ps4 ps4 slim ps5 ps5 slim uh, even xbox um the original xbox no there was no refresh of that but there were xbox 360 and an xbox 360s xbox one and xbox one s so a, a mid-gen refresh is nothing new, but where are these refreshed consoles going to sit in with the current lineup of consoles? So let's take a look at the first refresh, and this is a Xbox Series X newish version. Um, the big difference, well, there's two big differences, really. Uh, the first one is, no, 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 there's three big differences. So the first one is that it's white. Uh, so the big black tower is now going to become white. The second, it's going to be an all digital version, so no disk drive. Um, and they're going to up the internal storage to two terabyte, which given the fact that it's got no disk drive, so all your games are going to be have to be uh, digital, uh, it makes sense for that. So, OK, so you've got your current black Xbox Series X with a disk drive and one terabyte. And then you've got this new version supposedly released towards the end of this year, so sort of November 2024. Uh, the code name for this is Brooklyn, uh, and it's going to be a white, all-digital version with two terabytes uh, of internal storage. But it's not the only console. The current Series S, which is the cut-down version of the Series X, is also getting a refresh. Uh, code named Elwood. Um, it's going to come with one terabyte of internal storage, faster Wi-Fi, uh, and a low power standby mode. The, the big difference there is that the current Series S only has 512 gig of internal storage. The Series S is the cut-down version of the Series X. It's also an all-digital version. Uh, so you're going to end up with these four different consoles, all in the same gen, all fighting for people to, to decide which one they're going to pick. Uh, so, at the very bottom, I think you would place the current Series S. It's the cut-down version, it's all digital, and it only has 512 gig of internal storage. Next would become the Series S refresh, the Elwood, with its one terabyte of storage and faster Wi-Fi. Uh, it's, it's still a cut-down version, but it, it's, it's slightly ahead of the current Series S. Uh, but it gets a little tricky when you're working out where to place the two Series Xs. So you've got the current one, which is supposed to be their, their flagship device. It's got a disk drive, but it only has got one terabyte of internal storage. Uh, versus the new one, which should be released this year, the white Series X. It doesn't have a disk drive, so does that put it at a disadvantage? Or do the fact that the... The internal storage has been upped to two terabyte. Uh, make make a difference. It, it really is a little bit different. Uh, I did forget to mention that both the Series X refresh and the Series S refresh are supposed to come in slightly cheaper than the current uh, gen of consoles. So eh, it, it, it's a bit tricky. Um, personally, I just don't see the point of all four consoles. If you're going to refresh the Series X and make it a white all digital, then get rid of the Series S. Um, I've, I've got nothing against the Series S. I've seen one. Uh, I've played on one. Uh, I've also played the same games on uh, a Series S that I've played on a Series X. There is a notable difference. It's not massive. One of the games was Teardown, which plays quite well on a Series S, but it does choke at times. Something I've not seen on the Series X. Um, the only other sort of real games I've seen playing on them is uh, Minecraft. Well, neither of Minecraft is not going to push either system. 
um, and WW2K24 on both systems looks great, and so does Mortal Kombat 1. With, the, with Mortal Kombat 1, you can see a slight difference in graphics and performance on the Series S, but nothing that really detracts from the game. Uh, if you're buying a Series S, you know it's a cut-down version. You know it's got less RAM. But when you bundle all four of these in together, it's just going to be so confusing for consumers. Uh, unless they intend on phasing out some of these others, maybe they're going to drop the bottom S, uh, the, the current one with its 512 gig storage, and just have a, uh, a three-horse race. That would make a bit more sense. Go for the, the cheaper, low-powered Series S refresh. Then you've got the Series X refresh, and then you've got the current Series X with its ability to take discs. So, yeah. I don't really know what the point of this is. Um, I, I started off when I was creating this video wondering what was the point of the Series S. Uh, if, you, if you've got a Series X uh, and then you've got this digital Series X, do we really need the Series S? Uh, and one of my one of my regular viewers, who I, I quite often share video ideas with, um, he came up with the fact that it's price point. Uh, the Series S really was there for those that either couldn't afford a Series X or just didn't need the, the power that the Series X uh, can offer. Uh, and so maybe this uh, Series S refresh has just been, it's been screamed at because having 512 gig of internal storage in a system these days, especially an all digital series, uh, is, is, is ludicrous. So up in the... Series S to one terabyte, uh, that makes a lot of sense. So personally, I think they will drop the current Series S, uh, use the refreshed Series S, the Elwood, uh, as its base model for one terabyte. <sighs> I think they might then class the current black Xbox Series X as their. I don't know because if. It's only got one terabyte of storage, so if we're going based on storage, then the white Series X is going to be better. Um, but the white Series X is going to come in cheaper, uh, probably because it's like a, well a kind of already developed system and you're losing the disk drive. So maybe that would put the white Series X, the all-digital Series X, uh, as the number two console, uh, still leaving the black Series X as uh, Microsoft's flagship device. I don't really know, um, but those are my thoughts on it. And uh, let me know what you think. Do we need four Xbox consoles? Could they squash that down to three? Maybe they're even intending on getting rid of the black Xbox with a disk drive. Maybe they want to push an, a, a fully all digital service and, and everything from Microsoft. Who knows? But let me know what you think. Link, like, subscribe, enjoy.